Hey guys, Nick here from DeepView. I'm going to share with you today uh, a simple dashboard setup that I use to track relative strength uh, and even just every single day, keep a really good pulse on the market and the stocks that I'm watching. Uh, during the, the most recent downtrend that we had in the market, I would use this dashboard that I'm about to show you to kind of see what is bucking the trend, what is showing strength when the market's not, and this is how I built my relative strength list. And now that relative strength list, now that the market has turned into a new uptrend, um, is called my top tier list. So now I have my dashboard set up to top tier, and this is how I personally love to monitor the market during the day and keep a really, it, it keeps me really feeling in sync uh, with, with what's going on. And you could set this up to any watch list that you prefer. Uh, or even any screen, but I'm going to show you today how I personally like to use this setup for myself. So this dashboard is made of three widgets. I have the chart over here, uh, my bubble chart here, and then my watch list over here. My bubble chart is made of three data points. There's, there's three variables here. The X axis is price percent change from open. And why I like this is because it helps show intraday momentum, which even I'm me myself, I'm not an intraday trader. Um, I, I mainly use weekly charts. So uh, I like to monitor just when I'm at the desk, this kind of this view, this bubble chart, because it gives me a pulse on things that I would otherwise miss. And the price percent change from open really helps to show what's moving instead of just what moved overnight, which really makes a, a huge difference from my experience. So you could see that Uber uh, right here in my watch list is down on the day 2.8%. But when you do look at this bubble chart at the moment, uh, it is green, barely at the moment, but it was a, a little bit more value uh, a lot more value than than regular price percent change including overnight so when you do have a big move in the market either up or down and you have a bulk of stocks that are up or down they might all look the same if you're just viewing them on the day uh, per, like including their overnight gap but when you do look at how they've changed since the open you get to see okay these are the ones that are getting bought up throughout the day or these are the ones that are getting sold off even more throughout the day. And it just gives a much bigger, uh, more accurate picture. Now, the second thing that I have here is my Y axis, which is DCR, and that's daily closing range. So it's telling me the stocks that are near the top of their closing range or near the bottom of their closing range, which is another really valid uh, thing that, that gives me a lot of information. You could see that PLTR and Uber right now are both kind of up the same amount during the day. Like pr they've moved quite about the same from open, but um, Uber is 64% uh, of its closing range, which means this is holding more near the highs and not fading as much where PLTR is uh, in the bottom half of its daily closing range. So even though they have moved, uh, right now, the same since open, you could tell which one is showing a little more strength near highs versus one that is giving up a little bit more of the gains uh, that it that it had during the day. The third data point here, and the final one, is relative volume. So, uh, relative volume really helps me see quickly the volume behind a move. So you could tell just by looking at this spot is the highest closing range and it is moving the most today but um there's not much volume it, it, there is volume and and not you don't always need volume but there's just i could tell by looking at this there's not uh any abnormal volume behind it where if i look over here at dash or uber or dave you could see that their volume is definitely uh high relative to normal so when you do have stocks when i see them in the upper right of here where they're strong or the bottom left if they also have that big volume that just gives um 
a lot more context into what is going on. And after kind of looking at this throughout the day, week over week, you really get a good pulse on what is kind of diverging. So right here, you could see that uh, the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ, which I have in this, are they haven't really moved much since the open at all. They're they're kind of flat, a little red, but but overall flat. And so everything to the right of this is showing a bit of strength. And then everything to the left of this is showing a bit of weakness. And you can kind of see that Dash is an outlier here. It is near the bottom so far of its closing range, and it's moving down the most during the day since the open and and has the volume behind it so this is i noticed something like this for a few days uh, that's going to probably give me insight okay maybe this stock should be removed from my watch list which this is what i consider my my top tier so this really helps just kind of gauge exactly where the strength is in my list um, which ones are standing out and showing the most relative strength and you could use this however you want you could hook it up to any screen whether it's a one of our hundreds of presets or one of your custom screens or you could set it up to any of your watch list and kind of view it exactly the same way you can choose pretty much any data point that you want to show for the bubble chart which is really cool you can be creative with it and see the market in just just kind of see information that you'd otherwise miss just by looking at a chart or a table and and very quickly as well but this is the setup that I personally really like to use the most myself because it just helps me feel super insane. Currently, just to give you an example, I am in Uber and I was long before earnings this, this morning. And you could see that Uber is down 2.8%, uh, but it is kind of in the upper range today and holding positive since the open which is a little bit of insight uh, that i that i can gather from it at the moment obviously the close is always the absolute most important thing and the close is what matters so anything can change during the day but just monitoring this really helps give um, quite a bit of of insight that really keeps me in tune with what the market's doing. So to create your own dashboard like this, you would create a new dashboard, add three widgets, a chart, the bubble chart, and a watch list or screener, whichever you'd like. And then you can set them up um, with, with whatever you want. So I prefer to have my weekly charts over here. And then these three data points really help me see and spot the divergences or any standouts or anything that's going on in the market but you could set it up to any screen or any watch list that you want however i found the best use case to this to be my focus list or my my top stocks that i'm watching so these top tiers are considered what i think are going to be the next market leaders in, in this market if it keeps up if the uptrend continues and this helps me really keep a, a good pulse on it Another really good use case for this is if you want to set it to your positions and uh, kind of just see how your positions are doing, if there's any standouts, anything you have to be worried about. But this is overall what I like to call the relative strength dashboard, and it really, really helps me a whole lot. So I hope that this dashboard setup gives you a little bit of inspiration uh, to create your own or uh, another variation of it. And I'd love to hear if you do set it up, if it does help you kind of feel more in sync with the market, uh, because I, I really like to keep things as simple as possible. I could have a lot more apps or widgets on this than I currently do have. But the combination of these three really just gives me um, a really good insight into what's going on. And it's not overwhelming and it's, it's exactly what I need. So I hope you like it just as, as much as I do. So have a, have a good one, guys.